Hello, friends. I'm Phyllis Davis, and I'm the Youth Services Manager at the Library Station. Today's STEAM Challenge is for kids in first grade and up, and younger makers will want to grab a grown-up for some help. I call this one the Making Waves Challenge. And to complete it, you'll need some things from home. You will need a plastic bottle, empty of course. You will need a funnel. This is what a funnel looks like if you haven't seen one before. A cup of pebbles or sand, a ruler, a measuring cup with water, and some blue food coloring. Have you ever thought about earthquakes? Earthquakes can occur anywhere even in the ocean. And when they do, they can create incredibly large, powerful, destructive waves called tsunamis. Today, we are going to build a model called a tsunami in a bottle and observe for ourselves exactly how they work. So let's get started. Go ahead and take your bottle and pull the cover off and fill it with about two inches of sand using that funnel. The next thing you're going to do is use your measuring cup and measure about four inches of water into your bottle and top it off with one drop of food coloring. Then you're going to screw that cap back on nice and tight and you are ready to make some waves. Find a nice, stable, flat surface, like a table or the ground, and you're going to tip your bottle over like this. So the blue water represents the ocean, and the sand, I used sand, that's representing the ocean floor and the coastline. So once you've got this nice and stable, you're going to gently tap the end of your bottle and see what happens. Make observations about the waves that, cre that are created as well as what happens to your ocean floor and your coastline. Then what you're going to do is you're going to tap that bottle a little bit harder and harder and see what happens. If you are interested in learning more about earthquakes and tsunamis, well, I have a great book for you at the library. It's called Super Simple Earthquake Projects, Science Activities for Future Seismologists, and it's by Jessica Alkire. And you can find it by going onto our EBSCO eBooks database on the library's website. If you create your own tsunami in a bottle, we would love to see it. Go ahead and grab your grown-up and ask them to tag us on Facebook using at thelibrary.org or on Instagram using Springfield Green County Library, or they can email us a picture or video to imagine at thelibrary.org. You might end up on our Facebook or Instagram page. Well, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this STEAM challenge and join us for more. And don't forget to log on to the library's webpage at thelibrary.org for even more great content. Goodbye.